Hello, my name is Jason and welcome to Best Binocular Reviews. Today I'm going to be opening up this box sent in to me by Pentax, which I do believe contains some samples from their very new and quite exciting slash interesting slash a whole bunch of things, um, V-series of binoculars, monoculars, telescope, um, microscope, you name it. And we're going to start right now. Right, so welcome back to the second video in my Pentax unboxing series of videos. Um, as I mentioned in the first video, uh, because Pentax sent me two products in one box, um, and because each one there's so much to talk about, I decided to split um, this unboxing video into two. And so if you are interested in the binocular that splits into a monocular and also can be converted into a spotting scope, please be sure to check out the first video in this series. But in this video, we're going to be unboxing um, the complete kit, the Pentax VN 6x21 uh, monocular. Now, before I actually open up the box, I just uh, a quick explanation as to what I understand this product is. Um, as I say, this is an unboxing video, so uh, whilst I've done a little research, um, it is nowhere near um, as well researched as my final review will be. And obviously, as of yet, I haven't actually tested this device. But just to say, as you can see, um, this box contains a monocular, um, and which with a um, an adapter with which you can connect a, a smartphone to to take um, film or video or, or photographs through the device. On top of that, this the, the kit comes with a device or an extra lens that you can attach onto the end, which converts the monocular into an actual microscope. Now that's going to be really interesting to take a look at, just because um, it makes the device so much more versatile. Yes, uh, many people will buy monoculars or binoculars to view things in the distance, but quite often you forget about you know what's up close and near to you. Indeed, one of my favorite binoculars of all time is the Pentax Papilio. And as the name suggests, um, is designed specifically for viewing, um, you know, butterflies, but anything from close, close distance. If you don't know about that binocular, um, check out my review of that. Um, honestly, for what it is, is, is genuinely one of my favorite binoculars of all time. Um, not only can you use it for backyard birding, because, it, you know, you could still view things in the distance, but it has an extremely close minimum focusing distance and it's just for me always um, so interesting to look at things like butterflies dragonflies even flowers from very close range and ju you just get a different perspective when looking through a binocular at things like that so this device takes it even uh, one step further because obviously it now is going to turn into a microscope so without any further ado let's open up this box and see what we have inside as I say, the full review, once I've had a time to fully test and use this and the actual previous product, um, will be on the BBR website and I do plan to make future videos. Um, and when it comes out in the future, I'll put links down below in the description. So look out for that, depending on when you are viewing this video. Right, so where should we start? Okay, so let's just quickly do the adapter. Um, so... Um, as we can see, this will take um, a cell phone um, and it's spring loaded. It's quite a common way of holding on to a, a cell phone um, as an adapter thing. One thing I'm, I'm going to initially just point out here quickly as I focus the camera and make sure it's focusing. Um, the nylon type polycarbonate material is very robust. I mean, sometimes I do quite often see adapters these days that come with binoculars and it's usually really cheap, flimsy plastic that, um, you know, bends and such as once you've tightened that up. This is very nice and sturdy and looks really well made, super, um, very well made. So um, a good start, nicely spring loaded. Yeah, so for what it is, it looks well made and Shall we continue? So obviously here we have an eye cup of some sort. I'm guessing it goes on to the end of the monocular. Okay, let's, before we open up the actual monocular, this box is full of things, full of toys. <laughs> so here we go. Right, okay. So this is the, um, obviously the microscope part of the monocular. As you can see, the it has a lens, which is, um, and it's not just a piece of glass, so it will alter the optics 
um, I presume, um, increase the magnification and allow for it to focus, I assume, at a, at a very close distance. And obviously the distance will be that much, so just under six inches or so, I'm guessing. Um, okay, so once again, it looks well made. Um, plastic, but the uh, very robust sort of nylon um, type of polyca polycarbonate material. So, okay, so let's just quickly open up the box here. Oops, before we get to the, the main course, which is the monocular itself. Have a quick look. It's got comes with obviously just a little wrist strap. I won't open it up because it's um, very simple. Um, with a little monocular like this, it's perfectly acceptable. You know, whilst it might be nice to have a you know, more padded or larger strap, to be honest, it would be overkill because, you know, it's on such a small device, it would just be silly. Okay, so next up we have this um, sort of cover or um, sort of almost looks like some sort of holster um, to carry the monocular in. Um, I'm just going to speak a little bit now about the build quality. Um, we haven't obviously put the device into it, but um, it looks really well made, actually very the same sort of ma same material as the binocular that we spoke about in the previous video. Um, it's the same material and um, very good stitching once again, and um, nice canvas material. And so for what it is, it looks really nice, well made, and obviously a bespoke product. Um, very quickly, as always, um, the instructions. Here you go, um, very similar to how most cameras um, come with. So it's gonna be a big sheet in written in a whole bunch of languages, but we'll give you all the, the relevant information in a, in a very brief format. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail there. Right, okay, so let's take our first look at the actual monocular itself. I mean, straight away, my first impression is very good. Um, far from feeling or looking or anything like some sort of cheap um, device, it, it feels expensive, it looks expensive. Um, yes, the body is, is plastic, but um, once again, it's it's like that really heavy, chunky sort of nylon um, polycarbonate. And um, it feels for its size, you know, fairly um, anything, it's not lightweight. I mean, yes, it is lightweight because it's so small, but in comparison to a cheap um, binocular, for example, this feels far chunkier and, and quite robust, actually. I do like the way it sort of molds to your hands. Um, I really do like that, that sort of fake carbon fiber design over there. But yes, um, first impressions just on looks, on how, uh, how it looks. It looks and indeed feels uh, very comfortable. And I guess the, um, the next thing I'd like to just talk about here quickly is um, this, this rocker on the top of the actual um, instrument itself. Um, this is one of the more unique aspects to this monocular. Um, in that to adjust the focus, you simply rock the, the rocker um, forward or backwards. So um, let me just quickly, I've got a monocular that I recently tested. Um, the link to that review I'll, I'll put down below. But as you can see for a start, we can see that this monocular is a lot smaller. Yes, this monocular has a, a 30 millimeter objective lens, which is obviously a lot bigger but Pentax have obviously uh, managed uh, in their design to produce a, a really small and obviously very portable monocular, which is one of the main reasons for anyone to, to want to use or have a monocular over a pair of binoculars. Now, once again, I'll refer to a video that I recently made on monoculars versus binoculars, and just I go into the inherent advantages and disadvantages of both. And um, if you are interested in getting a monocular, I, I recommend you just take a, a quick look at that video and article. I'll link to it down below as always. Right, okay, so I digressed a little bit there. The rocker um, to adjust the focus is somewhat unique. I mean, as well as the shape, um, the rocker, with mini monoculars, you either have to adjust the eyepiece, so rotate it like this one, or they do sometimes have the, the focus wheel as you would have with an, in a standard pair of binoculars um, located usually on the top of the monocular. However, Pentax have gone with, a, a as I say, a quite a unique design here of having this rocker. Now, I'm just gonna quickly um, check um, through the eyepiece and look out my back window just to see how um, it actually works Right, okay, so I'm back. I'm um, having just checked it quite quickly. Um, yes, it's really smooth. And but what I will say is to adjust the focus, you do have to be quite careful to, you know, only move it, especially if you, once you get close to the um, being completely sharp, you have to be quite clear, um, um, careful to not obviously push it too hard because then it swings the focus um, very far in the other direction. 
So um, it has its advantages. It's not. It's really nice and easy to use. That's one thing I do like. You can keep your eye up to the eyepiece um, and adjust the focus. Whereas with a um, turning the eyepiece, it just makes that just a little bit more difficult. So I, I really do like it. It's, um, Initially, um, obviously with some more testing, I'll be able to comment a little bit more on that. Another thing to point out is, I don't know if you can see here, it has a, a focus, a separate focus ring um, on the front here and it's it's it labeled near, uh, near and normal. So this, um, for using it as a, from what I could see on, on a very brief test there, and I, I may change my words later on, but from what I've seen so far, um, when you're using it as a standard monocular to look at, you know, um, wildlife or whatever, um, you would keep it on the normal focus. And then I think once we connect the micro, uh, the microscope uh, lens to it, we will adjust it to the near focus to change the, the focal length. So um, I was using it in the sort of standard um, setting over there. So um, also just to quickly comment on the view from a very, very brief initial impressions, I was impressed, nice and bright, um, uh, clear, sharp to the edges um, without any sort of um, noticeable um, or large amounts of color fringing or anything like that or any other distortions. Um, once again, for the full review, I'll go into much, much more detail. So yes, um, First impressions, very good. Um, just also to quickly point out, yeah, you can obviously mount this onto a tripod. It's probably also going to the take, that's where, however this fits together, I'm not totally sure yet. Um, the uh, phone adapter, what's quite nice with this is I'm gonna be able to take a bunch of photos and videos for you guys as samples and look out for that in the full review and future coming videos. So um, other than that, um, what can we speak about? Um, the the um, eye cup this uh, fits nicely onto there is reasonably comfortable and um, obviously it's not adjustable so if you were to wear glasses um, I I would assume without testing yet you would just take that off and get the glass as close as you could to the um, ocular lens as possible but for me the amount of eye relief there was fine and I got the full field of view without any issues. Right, okay, so let's quickly, before we actually take a quick look at the microscope connection, um, this this pouch that's used to protect the device and to carry it. Now, I have, whoops, it's a bit confusing to as it all fits together, but there you go. So it's it slides in like this, and then that slides over the top just to hold it in place. Now, unlike a spotting scope where you can use um, the scope with the, the cover attached, Obviously here the rock is a little bit hidden, so you, and technically I guess you could use it if you weren't adjusting the focus, but in reality I think this is designed more for, as we can see, you would thread it through your belt. And what a fantastic way to carry it around, I think. Um, you know, it's super lightweight, you would just, you know, attach this to your belt or even somewhere on your bag or whatever, just a strap through there. And then, you know, for added security so it doesn't bounce out, even though it fits really well in. Just flip that over. But, you know, on your belt, you could be having walking around and whenever you want to use this, you just pull it out and off you go. So um, nice and simple in a way, once you work your head out, you know, get your head around how you're going to get it in here. But um, other than that, um, you know, well made, as I say. Right. So quickly, just if we move on, I've briefly, when I was um, looking outside, because um, I was a bit scared to do this on camera for the first time, I checked the instructions over there. So to attach it to the microscope attachment, you remove that cap from the end of the objective lens, and then that simply clicks into place over there. And there you go. Um, you've now converted your um, monocular into, it's still a monocular, but for very, very close observation. Right, so I'm just gonna quickly stop the video there and just quickly um, test it out for a, a second or two, just so I can give you my uh, initial comments and thoughts um, on, as using it as a microscope. Right, okay, so I'm back. So after a very brief test, I can say, wow, what, what, an, uh, what an interesting thing. <laughs> I think um, my language is, is escaping me a little here. So what I did is I just quickly tested and looked along the edge of my blade, of my knife over there. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but there is a little bit of red residue there, I think from the packaging when I opened up the box. But really super interesting to see the end. You can see the, uh, the edge of the blade, all the nicks and, and things like that. So pretty incredible, to, to be honest, to be able to take a device 
device that's looked at, you know, for viewing distant objects to be able to view at such high magnification. Again, I, I don't know the exact magnification. I will add it to the description down below if I remember, but it'll definitely be in the full review and then the forthcoming videos on this product. I will also obviously be adding sample footage that I take through this device using the, the adapter. So you'll be able to, rather than listen to my uh, poor description, you'll be able to see some examples for yourself. But I have to say, I'm, I'm really impressed and, and now really excited to go and test it out and use it on a bunch of different other things that I can find in around the house and out in the garden. So I'm going to leave it here for now and I'm going to say thank you very, very much for watching. And as I say, do look out for the full reviews coming soon and I'll see you again next time. Cheers for now.